man Johnny Wilkinson. The how eyes much, of the world on this man. How much pressure has this man been under this week? He's about the only player that everyone's been speaking about. There's 14 other players out, and I think their number nine, Matt Dawson, will get plenty of room around the rock. It's Johnny Wilkinson Enjoy. to begin the final game. And a nice touch from Andre Watson, as he said, guys, enjoy the game. Lawrence Delelio, and out wide, two front rowers there. They needed a quick man, and Wilkinson has to just tow it over the touchline. Bainers, Larkham, and Rogers, through! Takiri couldn't hold on, it wasn't a good pass in these slippery conditions. And that's the balance that Australia will have to watch tonight. 22. Wilkinson. He's been out practicing those kicking skills for an hour pre game. An extra forward taking full advantage. Greenwood. Lucy. Absolutely hammered by the Australian defence. England now trying to spread it wide. Back. And Thompson. Matt Dawson to Wilkinson. This is Richard Hill. Tenth minute, eighth phase for England. Lions losing his footing. You're okay. Didn't you stay in his feet. Didn't get it, then you went round the wrong way. Well, the wind just at his back. His range is usually about 50 metres. Johnny Wilkinson. Dave Alred. The England kicking coach has likened his precision to Tiger Woods putting when it comes to goal kicking. Distance is never a problem. The tough judges are happy. Two points the difference at Telstra Stadium. So the first time England have the ball in Australia's territory. Penalty, Wilkinson three points. Slippery ball, Wilkinson. Huge punt kick, and big relief for England. That one soaring over the halfway line is hard. Justin Harrison again, Gregan. Morton locks out wide. Almost punching through, desperate tackle by Wilkinson. And it was a desperate bootlace tackle by Wilkinson, otherwise Mortlock was through. Referee said no. That's Vickery. Work bringing it up on Phil Vickery's side, taking the breakaway out of play. Jason Robinson with a bit of space. Greenwood there that time, and Hannon just taking his eye off the ball as he attempted to catch it. Robinson! This man here playing man without the ball, way right off the ball. Stephen Larkin gets into the dressing room. Gets stitched up straight away and gets back on the field because he's the key. So Gitto on and Wilkinson lining up this to put his side in the lead for the first time. Looks good. England have their nose in front. Big scrum again by England, putting Australia under pressure. Pass was just behind Flatley. Little bit of momentum. Juggled by Ghetto, and he was hammered. Welcome to the World Cup final turnover. Off they go. Lucy and Takiri. Lucy tripped over Takiri's ankle. Oh, that's so clever. Lottie Takiri. Champagne rugby from the number 11. Australia were put under pressure. Wilkinson, bang, take that. Matt Gitto, the two young fly halves. And then England kicked downfield, and Lucy did well to chase the kick from Tyndall. Wilkinson working to Robinson. Wilkinson again, the orchestrator. Cohen was well read by Brendan Cannon and Bill Young. Wilkinson in range for the drop goal. That one's gone out to the left. Some of the crowd doing it, I don't know why. 
he was in a perfect position on his left hand side of the field his favourite foot Neil back good skill bad pass for Wilkinson coffee book tackled by Gitto affects the tackle on halfway three on two here it's Footman <laughs> not so sure about the little reverse pass Gitto now backing himself he was allowed to get up there because he wasn't held in the tackle Johnny Wilkinson lying down holding his right shoulder and Johnny Wilkinson's in a lot of pain there's two or three people there he's had a troubled right shoulder over the last couple of years it's Australia and England nip and tuck Gitto not held in the tackle so he was able to keep going but Wilkinson greatly distressed It looks like Wilkinson might have got a bit of a burner. When he's gone into the tackle, he's actually got collected Gitto's head right in his shoulder. We'll just take him a bit of time to work it back. Johnny Wilkinson just having trouble raising his arm above his head. Dan Carey just pointing out it could have just been a burner. Just a, a sting of pain down his arm, just temporarily immobilising it. Wouldn't try and get his side, the far side of the scrum. Australia got to get it up. Get their breakaways closer to the back line. England edging ahead for the push over try here. They're controlling it brilliantly. Walls offside. Johnny Wilkinson with the opportunity to put England out by four. As one English journal journalist put it, his standards have burnt a hole in the ozone layer. Not an easy kick. 14 metres in from touch. Three in a row for the boy wonder. England nine, Australia five. Ready to come back though, Tim Horan. Ready to come back from the blood bin and he'll have to wait for the next stoppage in play to swap with Matt Gitto. Matt Rogers then. Skimming that one, but Wilkinson. Only gaining 10 metres. Australia. Here's Dawson then. And Wilkinson. Greenwood with lovely hands and a good reaction. This is Tyndall. Takes on Sailor. Men inside. Lucy is there. And scrambling Australian defence, but making heavy weather of it out there. Greenwood has really risen to the occasion tonight. Here's Delalio, the big man with a lovely pass to Wilkinson and Robinson! They won't catch him! Jason Robinson! Handballs it into the crowd. England with a lethal blow in the shadows of half-time. Well, we spoke about not the lack of, we spoke about Australia denying them for the English team points, but they couldn't hear because of that speech that Tim Horan, he's got gas to burn, hasn't he? Well, it was the third or fourth phase, it's a good run early on by Will Greenwood, and then Denalia, look at him look inside, draw Sala, pick up Wilkinson, and Wilkinson puts the ball out in front of Robinson, and he makes sure by sliding early for his 16th test try. They have made a move, a big move. But that was all from Matt Rogers not finding touch with that kick in the last two or three minutes and put Australia back under pressure. This would be a huge body blow and really rub salt into the Australians if successful here. No joy for Wilkins in his first miss. But just a minute to half-time in England with a nine-point advantage. Does it again. Martin Johnson. And this is Greenwood. Little step, flatly waiting for it. Johnny Wilkinson to Johnson. Into a nice channel, but Sharp was waiting for him. And now Wilkinson. This is Neil back. 
Greenwood. Tyndall. And he was thumped into the turf. Larkin came over the top. Now Cohen with Robinson. Hortlock stuck to him. This is of the England team. And pinched by Martin Johnson. Wilkinson out in the midfield. Caught by Tyndall. And Cohen is grabbed by Saylor. Dawson. And Wilkinson in behind Wendell Saylor. Rogers coming across to cover. Just a little bit too long by Wilkinson. But he won't be too disappointed with that because it keeps, in, keeps Australia down in their territory. Well placed by Jason Robinson. Wilkinson to Tyndall. Johnson charging into the gap and offloaded brilliantly. 22 metre line, Wilkinson wants it. Jeremy. Well, the crowd, you can start to hear the Australians. They can feel that they're coming back into this game. Just short of halfway. Taken by Gifford. Gregan did well to get that out. Now Mortlock. He got the gap. Wilkinson from behind, though. Desperation from the England fly half. Now Cobain. Australia. Starting to get up to boiling point. Larkin wants it, Mortlock supports, and Wilkinson again, around his ankles. Johnny Wilkinson Number making some crucial tackles, Coming in from the side. Mortlock going through, and Wilkinson just holding on with a fingertip, just less than 15 minutes to go in this World Cup final 2003. Johnny Wilkinson knows the importance of playing down in the, the Wallabies territory. Australia lucky not to be penalised there for taking out the legs of Martin Johnson and Wilkinson. This is Thompson, the hooker, out there, and Wendell greets him. To retain possession here, not backwards, says the referee. Gitto juggling it. Johnson right up the front of that ball. Here's Wilkinson. And Lucy. Wilkinson again, and Dickery. This is energy sapping stuff against Australia. Drop goes on here for Wilkinson! How is it? Just wide. And so again, close. And again, out of nothing, he just pulls the ball and has a shot, and the whole crowd have their heart in their mouth. Larkham. Mortlock comes in. Clinging to him was Johnny Wilkinson. Wallaby still goes through Gifford. Wilkinson underneath again, getting through a tremendous amount of tackling. England ahead by 14 to 11. Greenwood in the first receiver, and Robinson's cut out. And there's a sound option from Johnny Wilkinson. From inside his 22, he's taken play over halfway. How good is that from the England side? That shows the confidence of this England team. And then going right to Johnny Wilkinson, who punishes the Australians. Larkham, Blackley. The England midfield defence has been strong and Wilkinson has been at the forefront in this second half. Now Mortlock, inside the quarter. England need discipline. What is the play? It's a penalty. Flatley can level the scores and force the game into extra time. And this is the last throw of the dice for the Wallabies. We're inside the last minute, and Australia hanging on this kick. Alfie Flatley's wife, Carly, is here in the stand to be on the edge of her seat, as would 20 million Australians. It's extra time. 14-0. Seconds remaining on the clock. Wilkinson. Can he produce a Joel Stransky drop goal to break the deadlock in this extra time? Important in every facet of play. And it was a free for all in the lineouts. Johnny Wilkinson, as one would expect.
prospect going for this kick. It's not sudden death, it's ten minutes each way. So we play out the next 20 minutes of extra time. If it's still level, then it becomes sudden death. Wilkinson has got the distance. Unbelievable! 17-14. Johnny Wilkinson. Four of 50 metres. Four from five for him. How good is he? The pressure he's been under this week. 46, 47 metres into a slight breeze. Puts England in front. David Giffen around him. Bill Young comes away. Well, it's been a frenetic pace this first couple of minutes as Wilkinson tries to find touch and get the ball out of play, and he does. Wilkinson on his right boot. Takiri back here with Rodgers in support. Excellent tackles as England go wide for Bullshaw. Takiri. England looking for another score before this interval in extra time. Neil back leaves it to Dawson. Wilkinson on the left. Ben Cohen. Wilkinson to Katz. Brilliant tackle by Gregan. Leftward shot from Johnny Wilkinson. And Phil Wall was up there quickly. Wilkinson, he knows how important it is in this extra time. Put points on the board. Only 30 seconds left in this half of the extra time. Wilkinson, a little chip away, veered off from the left hand upright. Ten minutes of extra time to go. England enjoying a three point lead. They're watching in Swaziland at the Glen Rand Stadium. The captaincy of Leicester. And Australia now with a penalty attempt. What drama? 17 14. Well, if this was a Hollywood script, it'd be a blockbuster bestseller. Front page of the Daily Telegraph this morning, a picture of Josh off. Flatley in Dad's headgear, and the headline was, Live the Dream. The four-year-old Josh Flatley watching in the stand as Dad lines it up to level the scores, if successful. Tim Horan, what do you think here? Do you think England will go for the win and Johnny Wilkinson will slot it? They will set it up. I'll go midfield. Wilkinson will set it up here and he'll wait for his opportunity. Cat absolutely monster. He's back now behind the pocket. Wilkinson is waiting. War and Smith ready to sprint. And Dawson goes himself. He fooled everyone. Wilkinson still in position here. This is England's chance. Back is there. Australia come through. Martin Johnson and England staying composed here. Wilson still in place for the drop goal. Australia come back. Here it is for Johnny. Has he done it? He sure has. Heartbreaker for the Wallabies. Seconds remaining. And that surely is the stairway to rugby heaven. Sorry, mate. Sensational. Johnny Wilkinson off his right foot, his unfavoured right foot. Three points, Woodward thinks he's got it. Look at Wilkinson, his composure, he knew it as he hit it. Woodman take the player of the tournament, Johnny Wilkinson, has snatched it away from the Wallabies. Is this it? And England has joined Sir Ralph Ramsey's The Mortals of 1966. A dramatic, heart stopping victory for England in extra time and it was Johnny it's England's moment and that man Johnny Wilkinson how about him what a performance Wilkinson here it came Australia knew it was coming but they were powerless to do anything about it and the man who has zero tolerance when it comes to practice. Everything is simulated to the match situation.
that is the definition of euphoria and ecstasy.